So I just finished, we just finished, um, I was just been to uh, the Congress uh, and the Sena Garadina of uh, University of Tel Aviv, uh, organized by uh, Patricia Nahumat as a president and the Marine Wire Communication. Yes, we are here at the uh, Hotel de los Montelos, Marbella. Yes, it was very, very interesting and uh, the I don't uh, wish to talk about the politics or religion. I'm still, I, I'm, normally I don't talk about this uh, topic on my uh, channel or any other social media but i just wanted to we have uh so m many uh interesting um conversation in the exchange of the question and and the answer by the professor from um, medicine department uh medical department of tel aviv university but obviously, we are not just talking about the medi uh, medicines. Uh, we are talking about a uh, whole um, education system and the whole uh, medical system, um, the research, medical research, cancer research, uh, exchange student system, and here Spain and um, Marbella and uh, Tel Aviv. And the part I was most interested and then also I was quite moved to, to hear this part that uh, my friend Marie Noir who, uh, who organized this uh, congress and uh, Garadina she was asking about the collaboration uh, between Tel Aviv University and uh, Palestinian people Yes, they uh, they did. I mean, they do have uh, the Palestinian uh, medical student. Uh, they are open to have them for to give them a um, emergency training, medical training, uh, or any student who wants to willing to study in a Tel Aviv University. In fact, there is a. Uh, student the palestinian student staying at tel aviv university and finishing a phd well that's the part that i i wanted to share with you that i'm sure so many people will have so many different opinions on this but uh, i'm just telling you the fact that the one of the fact exist in this world and then also for this kind of thing i am part of rotary club and uh, here today we were together with the other lotarians and the lions club member for rank form members there's so many uh, international association who dedicate themselves for the charities we are very happy to be i mean i was very happy to share the time like this with all of them um yes hopefully hopefully i really wish the people who want to continue study um uh, the younger students or not even younger students the people who wants to continue to study they can have an op opportunity to study and to be a doctor or to be uh, anything that you wish to be. That is my wish. Yes, thank you so much. And now I drive back to my home and to spend some time with my puppies and my mother. Yes. And uh, yes, today it's uh, Thursday. 
uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is a Friday. I have three events tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow. Coste total del proyecto 9.200 euros al año. ¿Qué hizo nuestro club? Pues el Rotary Club Marbella ya ha puesto 3.000 euros de su caja porque creemos en este proyecto. No solamente por lo que estoy diciendo que es un proyecto que económicamente es factible, sino porque es necesario, muy necesario. Tenemos que ayudar a los que van a, a ser eh, pues, eh, presidentes de gobierno, alcaldes, eh, jueces, que van a ser esos, esos niños, esa generación que crece ahora. Tenemos que intentar que crezcan en igualdad de condiciones unos con otros. No estamos, el Rotary Club Marbella no está presentando un, pro, un proyecto solo hoy. Estamos presentando 15 o 20 proyectos esta mañana. ¿Por qué decimos esto? Porque cada niño es un proyecto. Cada niño es un proyecto. Lo reunimos como un solo proyecto, nos integramos en el, en, en el deporte pero cada niño es un proyecto lo que os presentamos aquí esta mañana y pedimos es el apoyo para 15, 20 proyectos que tiene el Rotary Club Marbella eh, nosotros podíamos eh, haber creado un equipo de fútbol eh, quizás como ha habido un proyecto por ahí en, en el resto de España pero pensamos que eso es muy complicado, da mucho trabajo, también más costoso. Entonces, ¿qué hemos hecho para poder eh, llevar a cabo nuestro proyecto? Hemos hablado con el Club Atlético Marbellí, que tiene una escuela de fútbol infantil de niños, tiene muchos niños, y les hemos integrado ahí el, 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 la, la vía de, para, para llevar a cabo nuestro proyecto en mediante... Eh, el, el club de fútbol Atlético Marbellí, donde nosotros indudablemente también pensamos bueno, ¿y cómo vamos a controlar el gasto y demás? Pues vamos a formar parte de la junta directiva del club, vamos a controlar un poco cómo se lleva a cabo ese gasto que, que, que el club va a desembolsar y además también estamos colaborando con el Colegio del Ángel que está en la misma barriada llevamos años colaborando económicamente con el colegio y también hemos, nos hemos reunido con, con la directora eh, eh, con el arzobispo de Málaga que es el, el responsable de ese colegio la Colonia del Ángel y les hemos dicho que el Rotary Club Marbella y estoy seguro que el Rotary Club Marbella y todos los clubs que hoy están aquí representando, eh, los que estáis aquí representando a vuestro propio club, que nos vais a apoyar, nos vais a ayudar, esperamos que sí, que nosotros pedimos al colegio una condición. Vamos a ayudarles, pero los niños tienen que asistir regularmente a las clases. Tienen que tener una asistencia regular. Esa es una condición inamovible. No queremos ayudar a niños vagos. Queremos ayudar a niños que entiendan 
que el regalo merece un esfuerzo, que se tienen que esforzar y continuar con, con sus estudios. Así que por ese lado también vamos a eh, tener controlado eso. ¿no? Si algún niño, a mí me, me preguntaba un rotario de mi club el otro día, decía, oye, que si el niño no va al cole, se porta mal, no le vamos a dar dinero, digo. Hombre, por supuesto, si el niño persiste y persiste en su conducta, no le vamos a ayudar. No le vamos a ayudar. Finalmente, quiero resumir un poco qué es lo que nuestro proyecto logra, logra, como he dicho, la igualdad social. La igualdad social, muy importante. Imaginaros el sentimiento que esos niños pueden tener cuando se ven excluidos cuando ven que otros niños pueden disfrutar de ciertas cosas y ellos no, porque han nacido ahí, precisamente han tenido pues, esa fortuna o desfortuna de nacer en esa colonia. Tendrá una repercusión enorme en nuestra, en nuestra comunidad de grandes dimensiones. Os digo, ya está teniendo el proyecto de, de deportivo de integración social, en Marbella está teniendo ya un impacto eh, mediático importante cuando hemos tenido ahora la rueda de prensa de la polio cuando he tenido entrevistas en televisión y en radio recientemente eh, me han preguntado por el proyecto del fútbol ya se está escuchando que oye, estáis aparte de la polio y tal, explícanos qué es eso de, de la ayuda a los niños eh, del fútbol pues está teniendo un impacto realmente importante y va a tener continuidad. Como hemos dicho, vamos a cuidar del proyecto para que pueda tener eh, continuidad. Finalmente, quiero deciros, sin vuestra ayuda nos va a costar. Nos va a costar porque os quiero decir que el proyecto nuestro vamos a intentar que sea cinco años, no a un año. A cinco años. No queremos empezar y abandonarles el año siguiente y dejarles sin su ilusión. Os necesitamos. Esperamos que aprobéis nuestro proyecto. De verdad, muchas gracias. ¿eh? Que siempre gana, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Gracias, muchas gracias. Bueno, quiero deciros que este proyecto de Marbella ya no es de Marbella, es vuestro también, de todos vosotros, porque todos participáis de él. Muchísimas gracias por dar ilu ilusión a estos niños eh, que tienen su ilusión de poder jugar al fútbol. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Y cuando fui a visitarles una de las veces y les propuse de, de presentar un buen proyecto y el comentario de nuestro presidente Antonio Valverde y de Antonio Belón fue vamos a Málaga y vamos a ganar. <risa> Hay eh, Rotary, ya se sabe, Rod Rueda y los proyectos también. Los proyectos que hoy ganan el año que viene. <risa>
So, Monday, I hope you all starting glorious Monday week. I hope you all starting a wonderful week. Um, I just uh, like to recap from um, last Saturday or well, last weekend. Uh, Malaga, we went to, you already seen the video of our Encuentro Rotario Andaluces. Uh, that was the uh, our Rotary Club project uh, concur uh, for the whole Andalusia. We went all the way to Malaga uh, with our other Rotarian from uh, Rotary Club Marabella and the president and uh, other f member of uh, our Rotary Club. Uh, they did a great presentation of our local uh, project for the underprivileged children uh, supporting their football team and supporting their uh, after school program yes uh, actually we won we all went uh, eight of us uh, we all went to support the presentation it's our project uh, now we became our whole Andalusia project because we won the first prize so it's going to be supported by every other uh, Rotary Club also. The Rotary Foundation going to going to get uh, uh, going to give us uh, a fund also to support this project. Basically we are supporting um, these children uh, and the privileged children from um, not so uh, not the most uh, luxurious area from our city so they need a lot of support apart from their own family uh, and the government uh, we are supporting their after school activities such as sports and extra course with a volunteer teacher yes uh, to give them opportunity uh, to continue their study um, and then sports anyone who likes to get to know more about this project uh, uh, please watch this video I uh, I'm trying to put the uh, um, English translation under the screen that you can probably most of you, most of you uh, don't speak Spanish so you can read that and then also um, other videos and then photos and more information will be on our Rotary Club Marabella uh, website and the Facebook page and then my own social media Facebook Facebook page uh, Instagram pages also thank you so much for your support uh, as always and uh, as I said on my video anytime you like to come join us for the our weekly conference on Rotary Club Marabella we will be there every Tuesday in Hotel Puente Romano please send me an email uh, you are always welcome to join us for our weekly conference Rotary Club thank you so much Hola, Hola, proyecto ganador del noveno encuentro de Rotarios Andaluces Málaga 2017. ¡Hemos ganado! Hi. I just came back from uh, Rotary Club uh, anniversary today. Um, just arrived to a uh, garage. I'm so sorry I'm in a garage right now because um, my mother and um, my dogs are sleeping already. It's 1.30 in the morning. Just arrived from Puente Romano where we have a headquarter and uh, today we receive our governador, the governor of uh, our Rotary Club um yes uh we had a uh, anniversary dinner uh 39th uh anniversary uh our rotary club marabella we have a conference and a ceremony uh four new members have became our, our member of rotary club marabella and uh, our governor 
uh, Luis Santos visit, visiting us and then also we had a dinner uh, Lotary Club dinner in Nobu and Puente Romano Marabella uh, yes um, I'm a secretary if you want to in this matter what is this is a Lotary Club logo uh, I have a, this is my formal uh, for protocol, I have to wear this for our event, uh, the formal um, act like today. Uh, President and uh, Tesorero and then I, we have to wear this. And then also the badge and the Paul Harris and my Rotary Club badge uh, that I'm, I am very proud of. Yes, um, as I said, uh, our meeting is every Tuesday in Hotel Pentromano, Marbella. Uh, you're always welcome to contact me uh, through email. Uh, my contact is in the description box. Uh, if you are a member of Rotary Club, you're always welcome to join us. And then also, if you are not a member or um, haven't been visiting any Rotary Club meeting, uh, you can be uh, invited by me or any other members of Rotary Club. So please do not hesitate to contact me if you are interested to be involved in a charitable activity of the social work for uh, the people who need our help. Well, tomorrow is Wednesday. Tomorrow we are going to go to the Shop Ole. There is an autumn and a winter uh, conference presentation and a cocktail at uh, Fernanda's shop so I'm so looking forward to there's so many friends of mine come and we're gonna try one new uh, new dresses there made by Fernanda Chapole so that's our plan tomorrow yes you will come with me so you will know you will see you haven't been there you I mean if you see the previous video I already been there showing some of the pieces from Shapore because they sponsor our Monsarbat for Ajua charity dinner uh, last week so yes mm. yes I would like to see you there in the Shapore if you like to come join us um, and then also uh, Actually, before that, I was planning to go to uh, Yves Saint Laurent in Corting Grace, Marbella. No, sorry, Corting Grace, Puerto, uh, Puerto Manus. Uh, I'm gonna be there around one o'clock. I am going to have a, like a makeup done before we go to Chapole, the autumn winter collection presentation cocktail. Yes, uh, there is uh, like an official makeup artist coming from Yves Saint Laurent uh, to Corte Ingres Puerto Banos tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to have a makeup done by very good uh, uh, the Yves Saint Laurent makeup artist. So sorry about uh, if you are wondering what is that. That's, that is the artwork of my <laughs> husband. And then there is a buggy of chihuahuas. Uh, my dog that's the buggy for the dogs yes um yes it does exist the buggy for the dogs not only for the human babies <laughs> if you live in Marbella you can buy those in Corte Ingres Puerto Banus they sell it at the pet shop uh, the little buggy for uh, small small dogs okay so now I'm going to last and uh, well still I have to I think finish ACTA from today because I have to send out all the members and then um, see you tomorrow this week is my birthday week so yes I think I will see many of my friends um, between this uh, those days this week I hope I can have a little celebration with my friend. I see you tomorrow, everyone. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Today is a special day. Today is a Tuesday. 
14, it's our anniversary, as I said before, the Rotary Club 39th uh, anniversary. We just celebrate in Hotel Puente Romano. But apart from that, my husband brought this uh, Italian uh, fashion brand called Ludo is Cool. He's, uh, he is uh, like a Spanish correspondent for this brand. Uh, yes, uh, today, this morning, uh, El Corte Ingres Mijas, they have this their first shop i mean stand inside of the corte ingres mijas so you can find uh the you can find the ludo is cool uh for men and uh, women's um they're in corte ingres mijas yes and then also you can contact me uh through email also uh, yes, I, I'm constantly posting on my social media uh, so many uh, t-shirts and uh, tops and uh, the jackets. I, I love this brand so much. You can find them on uh, Instagram also. You can find them through my Instagram post or so uh, any other social media. Yes, it's an Italian brand, young brand, and it's a very um, uh, new, like an ultimate fashion brand so yes in here Marbella yes you can purchase in the Corte Ingres uh, Mijas yes <laughs> so see you tomorrow everyone and have a nice evening and uh, probably I see you tomorrow when I arrive to uh, Chapole <laughs>